Hello everyone, welcome to another really interesting video. In today's video, I will show you how to use any custom fonts in Go High Level. This will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. Uh, first of all, make sure to check out all of our links down in the description if you wanna get a 30-day free trial on Go High Level and let's get started. Now, there is a really sneaky way how you can use custom fonts in Go High Level. Now, first thing that we have to do is if you go to your sites here, let me just go to your sites. And uh, what I want to show you is I want to show you a way how to do this in a very, very sneaky way. So if you go to the funnels um, or websites, whatever, we can go here and edit the, the funnel or edit a website right here. If we go and just click edit here, we will be landing in a funnel. So let me just see if it's loading up right here. And as you can see right here, uh, if we go to settings, um, obviously we can go to typography and we can you know, go and use the fonts. However, if you wanna use custom fonts, we cannot do this right here. So what is the alternative? Where the alternative is to actually go to your memberships and just follow along. I will show you in a, in a second what I mean. You need to create a product, but before you create a product and build your own, what you want to do is you want to find a uh, font that you want to go and that you want to use. For example, I want to use this font. As you can see, I already downloaded it right here, but since Go High Level uh, is not really good with the TTF files, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Cloud Convert and we're going to convert the TTF file and we're going to convert it to WOF file. So that's what we want. Uh, actually, we want this one right here, WOFF2. We can convert this right here. We'll need to wait until it's done. We, click, we can click here, download, save this. And once this is downloaded, now we can go back to go high level and we can start building our own product. Keep in mind, this will be a product that is called our fonts or my custom font. So we can create a product here. And uh, once we create a product, obviously what we can do is we can go to details here. And um, as you can see right here, actually go to the outline right here. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to blank post. Okay, once we are here, what you wanna do is you wanna go and add a file right here. So you wanna add a file and this will be this particular file. So this is the file that we're looking for, WOFF2 because this is the file format that Go High Level usually recognizes really well. So let's click open. We will have to wait until this is uploaded right here. As you can see, it's uploaded, so we can click save right here. Now, once we click save, let's just go and let's see, let's preview it here. And uh, once we preview it here, as you can see, what we will do is we'll have to wait just a little bit until this is loaded up. While this is loading up, uh, what we can do is we can go to our sites section and uh, we can go to this uh, section right here. Now, obviously what we need is a link. So once this is loaded up, we'll need to go and copy the link. Now, once you click preview, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the blank post right here. And what you wanna do is you wanna go here and copy this right here, copy link address. So this is what we want. So just copy that. What you wanna do right now is you wanna go to the uh, funnel section right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a custom CSS uh, font or uh, a custom CSS code. So let me just give, it, give me a second and I will show you in a second how you can do this. So what you're looking for is you're going to your settings, custom CSS, Keep in mind, paste this code right here. So just paste it, you have it here. This is the code from uh, the font that I copied. And what you wanna do is you wanna copy this code right here. So this is the code that we're going to be copying here, right here. So what we wanna do is we wanna copy this right here. We wanna copy this code. By the way, this code is from Automated Marketing uh, Channel. So uh, a, a shout out goes to them. Uh, but as you can see, here is the uh, font file URL. As you can see, just paste the, the code right here. And obviously the font family, again, the font family uh, can be pretty much any font family right here, as you can see. So this is what we want uh, right here in our custom CSS. Now you can also go and change the name right here. 
of the font. The name can be pretty much anything. This is basically just going to be how you're going to call out the font. So if it's called a font, uh, or if a font has a name like Bebas, for example, you can put Bebas right here, you know, for example, like this. But I'm going to leave out as it, as it, as it says, basically font. So let's just click save. Once this is saved, what we can do is we can go to the phone that we want to change. And uh, as you can see right here, what we can do is we can actually go to advanced and enter just a class name, which is going to be a uh, font right here. And as you can see, it's going to be changed to our font that we plugged in in go high level. And this is how easy it is. And uh, basically, this is how easy it is to go and, uh, you know, use a uh, custom go high level fonts. Now, keep in mind, this is a, a, a kind of like a, a, you know, workaround. It's an alternative workaround. You can actually go and you can't upload font. You will need to do it this way in order for this to work. So again, if you want more go high level tutorials just like this, you can check out our channel for more. And if you have and if you want and if you want a 30 day free trial, you can check that out as well with our links down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching.